Hello everyone, it's Karen Brown here, and I'm going to show you how to use coloring stencils to easily create bright, colorful mandala patterns that we will turn into cards. Today we will be using Hero Art's Mandala Flower Pattern Stamp, which measures four inches by six inches, and the coordinating mandala flower pattern stencils, which make adding color so easy. I will also be using Hero Art's small blending brushes. The first step is to ink our stamp. I like to position my stamp in the corner so that I can restamp my image if necessary. I like to use a stamp positioner and today I'm using the stamp wheel for both stamping and coloring. I like to lay out my supplies before I start coloring. On the left is the stencil key, which I refer to often. I've placed my stamp panel on a sticky mat and carefully placed the first coloring stencil on top. Make sure the Hero logo shows in the lower right hand corner. I also place my first ink color, Splash, on top of my stencil. I do the same with the other three stencils. That way, I easily move from one stencil and color to the next. You can see that I have stencil two ready to go with blue raspberry, number three with blue Hawaii, and four with Aegean. And I start ink blending. I find ink blending very calming and therapeutic. For my first card, I went with monochromatic color schemes of blue, greens, and teals. I'm going to speed up the video a bit to move things along. You can use full size ink pads or mini cubes for this technique. I used a combination of both. So there you can see we're almost finished with our first color. I'll finish up there and then a quick tidy up of my craft mat before we move on to stencil number two. Hero Art's core inks are great for ink blending. The color continues to blend and smooth out as it dries. I've also had good results with Hero Art's reactive inks. Color is important to me and I love the bright vivid colors of many of the reactive inks. Hero Art's blending brushes work so well with stenciling. Today I use the small brushes, but they also come in medium, large, extra large, plus a sampler pack. When I open a new brush, I like to season it so I don't wind up with blobs on my project. I rub my blender on the ink pad and then tap a bit off onto my craft mat before I start ink blending. I also like to change the direction that I blend, clockwise, then counterclockwise. I want intense color, so I add a heavy application of ink. It helps me to hold the brush close to the head when I want a lot of color. If you want softer color, hold the brush further down on the handle. I forgot to mention that I used Hero Arts Intensify Black Ink on Deluxe Smooth Cardstock. You want a smooth surface for ink blending so your ink just glides over the surface. So as you can see, we're on our fourth color, which is Aegean, and we're just finishing up our ink blending. So this is the time that I like to start and think about card layout. Ah, that looks nice. I thought I would trim my panel down with pointed arches infinity dies. I also cut a blue mat from Peacock cardstock. I find Hero Arts card bases to be such a time saver. For this card, I'm using a top fold base. 
Last, we need a sentiment. I love hero transfers, and I selected a nice make-a-wish sentiment that blends well with the card colors. This transfer set is called Birthday Party. These transfers are so easy to use. Just trim the portion you want to use, peel off the backing, gently place on your card, and rub on with a tool or bone folder. I get a great result every time. Isn't it beautiful? I really like the colors. Okay, so on to card number two. I wanted to tell you about my creative process. My first idea was a monochromatic card, which I think turned out beautifully. But my creative brain started working and said, I wonder how the mandala would look with more contrast and color. What about a four color rainbow? If there is such a thing. So I made a variation using splash with stencil one, pool party for stencil two, taffy for stencil three, and creamsicle for stencil four. Don't you love the name and color for creamsicle? Since we've been through the stenciling process once already, I bumped the video speed up a bit. The process is just the same as card number one. We just changed the colors up. That is one of the great things about coloring stencils, endless color possibilities. And just a quick note about cleanup, you can use a baby wipe or mild dish soap to clean your brushes and craft mat. Sometimes I restamp the image with black after I finish ink blending. It gives a nice, crisp, finished look to your project. Then to finish my card, I trimmed down my stenciled panel, matted with Peacock's cardstock, and added a friend die cut sentiment. I die cut the friend three times and stacked them. For added dimension. I love how this colorful card turned out. On to card number three. I'm changing things up for this card, which will be stencil only, no outline stamping. To do this, I use the alignment markers. In the four corners of each stencil, I make a pencil mark and then I can line up each layering stencil as I go. My creative journey continued when I thought to myself, how would card number two look with just stenciling, no outline stamp? So I used the same colors as in card number two, splash, pool party, taffy, and creamsicle. By the way, the mandala is a geometric configuration of symbols. The mandala is also a representation of the universe. So here are the two panels side by side. I love them both. I added a quick stamp sentiment that is included with the stamp set. I also used my favorite rounded rectangles infinity dies to cut down my panel. And here is the finished card. I love the casual look of the stenciling alone. Here is card number two with the friend die cut sentiment. Here is card number three the same colors, but no outline stamp. The next card is card number four. I stenciled some muted colors and then added some hero glitter paste for a bit of shine and shimmer. 
Glitter paste is quite easy to use. Place your stencil over your panel, then using your palette knife, spread a thin layer of Hero Glitter Paste over the surface. Glitter paste adds a subtle shimmer, shine, and complexity to projects. Be sure to clean your palette knife and stencil right away before it dries. Isn't it pretty? And here is our final card. I'm so happy you stopped by today. I'd love for you to leave a comment. Let me know what you think about the cards and the video. Thank you and see you next time.